This morning I read an article on Inc. about people stealing content from others, right? And claiming it as their own on LinkedIn. And it's not just LinkedIn, it happens across, I'm sure, the entire internet. But what I found puzzling is the fact that this is that much of an issue, right? Why do so many people believe that claiming something that someone else worked on as their own is okay to do, right? I believe that everything starts from the upbringing at home as a child because the values that you were instilled in you as a child will translate and resonate the rest of your life. And I'm 100% confident in that. But it's beyond that. Why would you steal something from someone else, right? In, in real life, not online, in, you know, in physical space, you should not go and steal something that belongs to somebody else, that somebody else built, designed, created, and so forth. So why is it easier online? I know it's easier because you can do a copy and paste or a screenshot, but it's just the wrong thing to do every single time. Ask, right? Some of these um, content providers will provide under... Creative Commons open license, and that is then free, just a tribute to original source. But you can also find these people. You can see what they posted this article. You can write to them. You can find them on Twitter or Instagram or somewhere else and say, hey, would you mind if I share this? Share it as it is, their content with their citation, not putting your own name behind it. That's just stealing. That's just idiotic long-term. Even if you do get any short-term gain, you're going to end up with a long-term credibility issue and distrust, and you're going to lose out a lot more over the remaining life of your career and your business than any possible small gain you might get at that moment by claiming it as your, as your own. I know content is important, right? Content quality, distribution of that content as well, but just be yourself. Don't pretend to be something or someone you're not. Speak about your own experiences and about your own knowledge, right? If you've done one, two, and three, speak about it because you know it. You're good at it. You've done it every single day for a year, five, seven, 22, right? So if even if you're on national television and someone puts you on the spot and says, talk to me about one, two, and three, you can. Not a problem, not an issue because that is something you're good at and something where you have experience. Don't pretend to be something or someone you're not and speak about things you know nothing about. That's always a good advice. I just don't understand why so many people fail to adhere to it. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. Be who you are because I guarantee you, you have enough knowledge and experience in a particular area, whatever that may be, that other people will find interesting. So speak about your own knowledge and your own experiences. Don't copy of others and don't plagiarize. It's always a bad thing to do. In school and after school, don't steal the ideas and content of others. Ask for permission at the very least. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best.